Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. If you're a fan of American heavyweights, then you really have to get a tape and watch the Brian Jennings, Andre Fedosov fight that took place yesterday on NBC Sports. It's clear to me after this fight <clears throat> that the best American heavyweight right now, <clears throat> with all due respect to Jonathan Banks and to Deontay Wilder, will have to be decided by a fight between Tony Thompson and Brian Jennings. Right? In my opinion, until somebody beats Tony Thompson from the United States, Tony Thompson's going to be, in my mind at least, either the best American heavyweight or worthy of a fight with whoever is contending. Right? But Brian Jennings at this point has made himself the primary contender to the throne, in my opinion, here in the United States. Let me point out, the jennings Fedosov fight was action-packed. It was a fun fight to watch. But, what really stood out, more than anything else, style-wise, was the fact that Brian Jennings was able to deal with a pressure fighter who was coming forward and who was masterfully cutting off the ring on him. Fedosov's the kind of fighter who gives the impression that he doesn't think about or fear your punching power. Right? He comes in behind a defensive construct and he's throwing very compact, very short power punches. He's there not just to win. He's there to win by knockout. And he's relentless. So here he is in against the taller Brian Jennings. Right? Jennings is the kind of guy who, for a heavyweight, quite frankly, throws great combinations. Right? He's not a pot shotter. He's the kind of guy who can literally throw a combination with multiple power punches. Right? He's not afraid to let his hands go, and he has hand speed. Well, you saw that in the third round of this fight. It was on display because Jennings, in what I thought was one of the better combinations I've seen in a while in the heavyweight division, Jennings, a righty, throws a great right uppercut. It's a great right uppercut. Literally stops Fedorov in his tracks and then instantaneously thereafter comes back, finishes the combination with an excellent left hook. I have no idea how Fedorov stayed on his feet. As it was, he takes the punches and is knocked backward, but is able to recover a bit. Then it was interesting, because of course, Jennings turns on the heat, and what I liked about Jennings' is heat, again, what separates him from a lot of fighters, is the accuracy. Right? According to NBC stats, through the end of the third round, Jennings had landed more than 70% of his power punches. 70! Right? So he's not only throwing punches, like uppercuts and left hooks, but he's doing it accurately. Right? And he's a great athlete. Not a lot of body fat on him. Let me also point out, too, that he's versatile. Fedosov's coming forward. Jennings is still operating well while backing up. In other words, he can fight backing up. He can fight with his back on the rope. Here he has a guy cutting off the ring on him. Has him up on the side of the ring. And Jennings is still winning his portion of the rounds. Right? He's not the kind of guy who panics when you corner him. He can also trade inside. Jennings has a defense, right? He's not using his legs for defense exclusively. 
He's catching punches on his arms. He's not afraid to fight inside. So here he is with a shorter guy with a shorter reach whose game is to chop you down from the inside. And Jennings stands right there trading with him. He's not running. Jennings is flat-footed. Jennings is catching the punches and coming back with combinations. Right? I was impressed. Now let's talk about where Jennings might be vulnerable. Right? If you're going to analyze a fighter, you have to think of the pluses, but also the minuses. Right? Jennings is not an Andre Durrell, Muhammad Ali type of heavyweight. He's not moving behind a jab. As I said earlier in this video, he's flat-footed. He's not up on his toes. So, of course, his back was against the ropes. He was cornered at times in this fight. Right? Quite frankly, I thought he traded a bit too much with Sergei Fedorov. After the fight, Jennings, you can actually see, has swelling by the side of his face. So, the one concern I have with Jennings, who isn't one of these huge heavyweights, in other words, he's not Lennox Lewis. He doesn't weigh 250 pounds. He's not Tyson Fury. He's not 6'8", 6'9". Right? He's not a big, big heavyweight. I worry about Jennings in terms of his desire to fight guys inside who might be bigger than him, who are going to turn fights into shootouts. Right? Jennings gets hit. That's the bottom line. This was literally an action-packed fight because Jennings allowed the action to happen, right? In some ways, this fight was kind of like watching Ruslan Provotnikov, who you knew was going to try to hunt down Timothy Bradley and throw hard, concussive punches against Timothy Bradley, a guy who looked like he had the greater foot speed and greater flexibility, but who chose to fight against Provotnikov. Now, unlike Bradley, <clears throat> Jennings didn't get caught with big shots and knocked down, right? But let's just say the opportunity was there for Fedosov. I'm sure he's going to be looking at the film and he's going to be thinking to himself, if I would have just upped the temperature in the room a little bit, maybe things could have gone my way, right? In other words, it's easier to hit Brian Jennings than it was, let's say, Prime Ali. I'm not talking about 1974 rope a dope Ali. I'm talking about Cassius Clay, the Ali who was pretty as a girl in the 1960s. Right? So, to sum up, I'm very impressed by Brian Jennings. If you're looking for the best American heavyweight, and I know this is not right now the dominant narrative in American media, but if you're looking for the best American heavyweight on the eve of the Seth Mitchell, Jonathan Banks rematch, I would urge you to consider Brian Jennings and Tony Thompson. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Fedosov could not continue. His eye blew up at the end of the sixth round. I think he also saw the writing on the wall <clears throat> because Jennings had an excellent sixth round, and it's clear that Jennings is an athlete. It's clear that Jennings is a guy who has stamina, right? Fedosov is going to hunt down and break apart <clears throat> fighters who can't keep him off of him, right? If an opponent doesn't have <clears throat> a great jab and great lateral movement, and gets involved in a shootout, you can rest assured that Fedosov is going to cut the ring off on him. <laughs> He's also someone to watch. Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by. Let me go take care of these hiccups. Thanks.